What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Stuff for Garage. Today's detail, you guys have been asking for it. We're gonna do an interior deep clean as well as an exterior deep clean to make this Honda Accord with 252,000 miles look like new again. And I promise you guys, the owner's reaction at the very end is gonna be worth you guys sticking around for. It's gonna turn out amazing. I'm honestly super excited to show them the end results. But it's 34 degrees out. I'm gonna freeze my ass off just for you guys. So with that being said, hit that thumbs up button for just that. And then also, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. Whew. Let's get started. So for this detail, we're starting with the exterior of the vehicle, and the first thing I always like to do is just bust out the pressure washer, get the car rinsed off of any dirt and debris that I can get off, and it also gives you a chance to kind of inspect the vehicle firsthand. Now for my foam can, I'm using Chemical Guy Snow Foam, which not only does this stuff work really well, it smells really good too. And then I'm just filling my bottle with warm water before I shake it up. And because it was so cold outside, the foam cannon did a decent job with coating it with soap and sudsiness, but um, it wasn't as foamy as it typically gets just because it was, like I said, 34 degrees outside. Now for my wash buckets, I have a blue one, this one's specifically for tires, and then I have the two orange ones, which is for the paint, one's a rinse bucket, and one is my soapy water. It's nice because my tire bucket, I can kind of just throw all of my different tools inside of it, all the different things that I use to get the rims cleaned. And for this case, these rims were a little extra special. They had a lot of brake dust caked inside the different spokes, so I used some little iron X to kind of get any of the iron from the brake pads, kind of lifted to the surface a little bit, and then I busted out the cone drill brush attachment. This thing actually worked a lot better than I expected at kind of buffing and getting all that dirt off the surface. With these rims in particular, the clear coat had been completely damaged at this point. So by using the drill brush, you weren't doing any further damage, but you're just essentially getting the surface clean. Eventually, I would recommend the owner to kind of get these sanded down, get them re-clear coated and polished. Um, but for right now, just getting that orange brake dust that's been on there since the car was new, this definitely was a step in the right direction of making them look nicer again. Now I would have shown more of the actual washing with my two bucket method, but the footage turned out to go out of focus completely after I did these first two panels. So I washed the roof and I washed this one door, but I promise you I washed the entire vehicle as well before I took out my pressure washer to rinse it off. And I try to show here why I started with the exterior. One of the nice things about it is you can open up all of the different door jams, the trunk and everything, and spray out all of those door sills with a pressure washer. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna flood the car with water. You're just getting a little, like, a little bit of it splashed inside. And since you're gonna be wiping everything down, you're gonna be extracting the carpets, all of that kind of makes it so that way you can go ahead and do this step. And it saves you a ton of time when it comes to working on the interior and trying to wipe down those door seams. Now that the car is completely washed, let's get it inside the garage. And at this stage, I'm busting out my drying towel. And this is the magical drying towel. It's like the magic carpet from Aladdin. This thing is super heavy, it's super thick, but literally I can throw it across the car and drag it across a single panel and it will dry it 100% in one pass. And all I had to do was use one single towel to get it done. The good news is Fox Clean is gonna be carrying those in the next couple months, which I'm super excited to share with you guys because I love this towel and I've been holding off and telling you guys this, but it's finally coming to fruition. Now the next stage of the detail is I'm gonna go ahead and polish the headlights. There is some slight yellow hazing on the right one in particular, the passenger side, but I'm using my Optimum All-in-One Polish. This stuff works insane on paint, but it also comes in handy when you're trying to clear up headlights here.
Now, if you want to wax your car, if you're trying to, you know, prep your paint for any sort of surface ceramic coating or anything, you need to start with clay bar in your car. Clay in is not really clay like you would think it is from like making pottery standpoint, but it is kind of like a putty that you essentially flatten, you spray some sort of soapy water onto the surface and you're slowly just, you're going up and down the surface with it and you're not even putting any pressure, you're just letting the clay bar do the work and catching any imperfections that are on the surface. This kind of gets all of that contaminants off the paint, that way when you lay down your top coat, your ceramic coating or wax or whatever, it has a clean surface to go onto without inducing further scratching when you use your pads. Now today I'm trying the Turtle Wax Ceramic Hybrid Coating Spray. This stuff is actually pretty badass. I was impressed with how you didn't have to have a wet panel. They wanted like two or three sprays per panel. Use one towel to kind of like buff it around, move it around and kind of as an applicator. And then you have a second microfiber towel just to wipe the surface clean. I'm anxious to find out from this owner if it lasts as long as they said it does. The bottle says up to 12 months. I'm sure there's some different care and things that you have to do along the way to make that prolonged but I'm excited to see how the product lasts. I'm gonna try it out on my vehicle as well, just to see how it does over the winter. Now that the exterior is done, we're gonna go into the inside, we're getting the floor mats out, and we're gonna start pulling out the seats, the center console and everything, because you guys could tell from some of these stains that were on the inside, these things need to come out so that way we can clean it up. Is it? Too close. I usually get the question, how do I know how to take apart cars and take apart center consoles so easily. It's not like they're easy, it's just one of those things that you just gotta kinda figure it out. Each car is different. Like in particular, this Honda Accord had some weird panels that you had to remove to get it out, but at the end of the day, it was fairly simplistic. Just took a little extra time to kinda figure it out. Now that we have all of those components out of the car, it is time to start vacuuming and getting all of that dirt off the surface. And once I got all the dirt off the surface, I had tons of dog hair and hair and fibers that were kind of not able to come out of the main carpets. So I busted out my Lily brush and it did a fantastic job at getting the carpets completely cleaned and prepped and ready for when I bust out the extractor later on. And if you guys have dogs or if you have pet hair in your house or in your car, Definitely go and check out the Lily brushes. They are an amazing product that I think everybody should have in their detailing arsenal. Um, I am selling them on my Fox Clean website. If you wanna go ahead and check them out there, go ahead and click in the link in the description box, and that way you guys can pick up one for yourself as well. So now that the floors are completely vacuumed and I have everything out of the car, it gives me room to start working on the up, upper part of the car. And first off, I'm starting with the dashboard. I'm using my all-purpose cleaner, which is Chemical Guys All Clean, diluted 20 to 1 with water. And I'm just spraying it onto the surfaces, using my detailing brushes and my clean microfiber towel. And then also I have these small foam paint brushes that I use to get into those air vents that are difficult to get to without using a special tool.
If you guys have any special tools or tricks that you guys know that work really well for you, let me know in the comments below so we all can improve our detailing game because that's honestly what this is all about. Now for some of these panels, and because this car has never been like deep clean scrubbed, I have this harder bristle brush. I used it on the tires as well of my car. I have two of them. I use the other one for the interior on carpets when I can't get the drill brush in certain spots, but I also use it on leather or interior panels, especially harder plastic with some sort of texture to them. It helps get all that dirt in those lines and grooves that typically a detailing brush can't because the fibers are so soft. I know I haven't done the extraction portion of the car yet, but I'm doing all the panels, getting them all clean, putting on my Chemical Guy Silk Shine, coating the car with everything I can first before I go to the carpets. I am gonna have some overspray from the drill brush and things like that on some of the lower panels, but in general, just getting it out of the way now means that later on, you just have to do a quick wipe down if you did have any splashing. One thing I like to do is before I do the carpets, if there are cloth floor mats, get those out of the way because it kind of gets you in the groove of doing carpet cleaning because sometimes it can be overwhelming with the amount of dirt. And the floor mats are just a smaller section in front of you that you can typically bust out pretty quickly. And I'm super impressed with how these turned out and how clean they actually got. And if you guys like these slow-mo extraction clips or slow-mo drill brush clips, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that way I know that you guys want to see more of those video clips in the next one. If you have cloth floor mats in your car and they're actually super dirty, I would recommend first off going outside and pressure washing them. That would be my first step if I had the opportunity here, but it was too cold to do so. I didn't want to have any of the water freezing on the mats when I was doing the other ones. But in general, if you can pressure wash them, I would recommend doing that first.
Now for all of you guys watching that have a detailing business or do detailing on the side as a hustle, I would recommend that when you look at a car, when your customer brings it to you, try to look at the stains that are on the carpet itself to give the customer a realistic expectation of how much of it's actually gonna come out. Granted, there is a ton that will come out, but in the end of the day, it's never gonna be absolutely perfect depending on the type of stain and how long it's been there. So setting realistic expectations is always something I recommend you do up front. But as you guys can see, these before and after shots are still crazy. Granted, the floor mats aren't absolutely perfect. They still were a huge improvement of where they started. It's funny, this typically usually happens to me at least once in a detail, but you can see here, after I do the floor mats, I had one more door panel to do. I have sometimes ADD, I feel like, where I, I do like three of the four and I forget to do one because my mind is going a different direction, but in this case, I completely forgot to do one door panel, so that is kind of why you guys are seeing me sneak it in here before I jump into the carpets. Now the first thing that I tackled was that passenger side coffee drip down the entire side thing. Um, honestly, I was super impressed with how it came out and how much sudsy goo that I was able to extract from this carpet. Having multiple attachments, having a small one definitely comes in handy when you have some of these tighter to reach spots. But in general, the carpets came out really, really nice with just using my pure hot water in the extractor and then my carpet cleaning solution, my spray bottle and my drill brush to agitate the fibers. Now this slow-mo shot, I'm gonna go ahead and call this whipped meringues because it honestly looks just like you're making a meringue batter. Now one question I had for you guys is if you have any sort of chemicals or products that you use for cleaning carpets, I'm interested in trying out a few more. I have a few that I use, but I'm also wondering if I could improve upon it by doing an all natural or doing a DIY type solution. I've seen several people talk about using like Dawn and vinegar and a few different other combinations that work really well over shelf bought items. But if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. I wanna try, try something out different. Even though I've got pretty good results from this one, I feel like there's still some improvement to my product. So I'm always looking out for new things. Like I mentioned earlier with pressure washing the floor mats, 
honestly, most of the time, like at this point in the detail, I've taken out most of the panels that keep the carpets intact inside the vehicle. But I think in an upcoming detail when it gets warmer, I'm gonna show you guys what a complete carpet removal looks like. And if you pressure wash it, the difference in results. I might do like half the carpet that way with the extractor only and drill brush and the other half with adding pressure washer to it. Just to show you guys the results that you can get by making that additional step. Even though it seems like a ton of work to remove it, it will give you really nice results. So that's something to think about. Plus it makes it just a lot easier to get the job done. Whereas with an extractor doing three or four passes in some cases, if you pressure wash it, you can probably cut those down in half and make it down to one or two by just doing that step. And I think for this pour, we're gonna call it the matcha green tea latte, and I have no idea why it's green, but it honestly looks like green in the shot. And if you guys haven't subscribed already and you like these sort of videos and love this sort of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. It really does help support this channel. Make sure you, it really does help support this channel. So go ahead and smash it down below. And if you guys are interested in picking up any of the products that I mentioned and using in this video, I have all of those linked in the description box below. And as a gearhead, I want you guys to comment below what kind of car do you drive? And if you don't own a car, what kind of car do you want to drive? Because I think it'd be super cool for everyone to kind of see what everyone's into. And it's always fun to know what kind of cars people drive around.
Now that we've gotten the carpets completely done, it's on to all of the different intricacies and tiny little bits and pieces that I removed from the center console area. And for this, I'm just using my bristle brush. I have the harder bristle brush for some of those harder to reach spots and stubborn pieces of goo. And then I have uh, my all-purpose cleaner and clean microfiber towel to clean those surfaces. I am sad to say that my detailing brushes are out of stock on Fox Clean, but it does mean one thing that you guys are amazing supporters of this channel by buying all of my inventory faster than I could restock. It just means that you guys are that much more awesome. So I'm hoping in the next month or two, but until then, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the support. It truly is just a blessing to have you guys part of the Stoffer Garage crew, part of this community that we've created and sharing all your tips and tricks in the comments and all of us just striving to become better detailers. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. The subscribers reaction is coming right up in a second. But before we get there, if you guys are in the Columbus area or in the central Ohio, or even if any neighboring state and you want to bring your car to me for detailing and it's a complete disaster, reach out to me at thestarforgarage at gmail.com. Send over some pictures. I'd love to try to get you on my schedule to get your car detailed as well and featured in my channel. And without further ado, here's the reaction. Wow. How's it look? It looks so good. The carpets are so different. Oh my gosh. Back here was really dirty, I know. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you for detailing it. You're welcome.